All right, so today I want to talk about coordinate plane and moving on our way to learn how to graph. But first, I want to talk about what kind of the coordinate plane is. So I'm just going to draw a square like this. And then I have one. This is an x-axis, and this is a y-axis. The y is always, or the x is going to always be the one that is horizontal, and the y is the one that is always going to be vertical. That's always how it is. Now, for in towards the right direction is positive, and toward the left direction on the x-axis, this is negative, and then towards y in the up direction or north direction, this is positive, and then down here. This is negative. I'm going to actually draw arrows on all sides, denoting that it goes on forever and ever. So positive, positive, negative, negative. So this is called quadrant 1. This is quadrant 2. This is quadrant 3, denoted by numerals. And then this is quadrant 4. That's how they're named. They go around like this. And then in quadrant 1, all of your points are going to have two positive signs. So if you have a coordinate point and both numbers are positive, you know it's qu in quadrant 1. So I'm going to come up with three points here, or four points, excuse me, negative four, negative two, and positive four, negative two, negative four, positive two, positive four, positive two. Okay, so I have all these points, and what quadrant do they go in? So this quadrant number two is going to have a negative number and then a positive number. Quadrant number three is uh, not an easy one, it's negative, negative, and quadrant four is positive, negative. So this point with two positive numbers would go in quadrant one. This point, negative number, positive number, negative positive would go in quadrant two. This number, positive number, negative number would go in quadrant four. And this number, negative negative, would go in quadrant three. So that's kind of some things to know about the coordinate plane. Um, another thing I want to know is that when our function goes into this plane, when it crosses the x-axis, that's called the inter x-intercept, um, and then y is the y-intercept is where the function crosses the y-intercept. So that's some things to know about a coordinate plane.